Those streaks on the water less than half a mile from the white sand of Pensacola Beach are oil sheen. We spotted this a mile from the Florida Alabama coast. More sheen dotted with clumps of red tar riding the waves to shore. About three weeks ago, I had to go 75 miles from Pensacola to see as much oil as I saw today right on the coast. For the third day, it washed up in the form of tar balls littering the waterline. They've been spotted on beaches as far east as Bay County, Florida. BP and government agencies tried to show they were acting fast, placing more than 600 workers on beach cleaning duty from Mississippi to Panama City, Florida, and sending 55 boats to skim the reddish oil just offshore. Signs warned people to leave the cleanup to specially trained teams. George Gurner scooped up the mess anyway. If you want something done and done right, you have to do it yourself. He filled two five-gallon buckets with tar, but when he tried to hand them to a worker to dispose... He said, that's not my job. So I got a little aggravated and I turned the two five-gallon buckets upside down and dumped them in the sand. I said, is it your job now? And he drove off. Local officials are just as frustrated. I don't think they have adequate supervision out there and I don't think they've had adequate training. On Florida beaches, vacationers still played in the sun and sand. The tar isn't a health risk to them, state officials say, but it's toxic to the tourist industry. The crowds are a fraction of what they should be this time of year. Jim Wilson's skydiving business is in free fall. Tourist season, it's, it's over for us. I don't see how we can stay afloat. And you don't see that changing? Not with the, uh, not with the beaches like they are, because the tourists aren't here. A BP representative was in Pensacola today. He said that $48 million in claims have been paid out by the company so far to about 18,000 people. 37,000 have applied. Russ? Kelly Kobier in Pensacola Beach, Florida. Thank you very much.